Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or if this is your very first time here, welcome. My name is Aaliyah and I am so happy that you decided to stop by. We are going to be starting off today in my front entryway. This is definitely a trouble area for us. It is a catch-all for my entire family and I do have a hard time staying on top of it. It is just one of those spaces that I feel like gets messy very quickly and tends to stay like that unless I am really conscious of staying on top of the cleaning. I'm also going to be sharing a major playroom cleanup in this video. I don't think my playroom has ever been this messy so I was really eager to get that cleaned up. It is actually a little bit embarrassing and I'm also going to be sharing a little fall clothing haul for my kids. I made a huge order on Old Navy and I thought it would be fun to show you guys what I got for them so if that is something you're interested in make sure you do stay tuned until the end of the video. The amount of shoes that we have in this closet is absolutely insane. Half of these my kids have outgrown or they don't even have pairs, so it was definitely time to clean this area up. We also have a second closet in our laundry room that we are planning on turning into a built-in hall tree, which I am so excited about, but I am going to be doing a cleanup of that closet as well, and hopefully I can find some of the pairs to these missing shoes. As you guys can see, the amount of shoes I have in this closet is absolutely ridiculous. I have every single season in here and I have not decluttered it for a long time, so it felt really good to get this done. I would love to hear from you guys what area of your home is the most cluttered area or the catch-all for your family. Like I said, mine is definitely this area. I find I'm so bad for just throwing stuff over the gate and not rehanging it or not putting it back where it belongs and I really am going to try and work on that. I was planning on buying a shoe rack to put in this closet but the other day I was looking through my basement and I did find this shoe rack unused so it ended up working perfectly and I didn't have to spend any money. I have been waiting and wanting to purchase a bench for the wall on the right across from the closet here, but I have not been able to find one I love. Well, I finally found one on Wayfair and I am so excited to purchase it. It is taking me a little bit longer to get all of the spaces in my home done how I want them for two different reasons. One is decorating and furnishing your home is very expensive, so it is definitely something you have to chip away at. And two, I am such an indecisive person and I am someone who wants to love every single piece that I purchase. I feel like I am a little bit picky. And as you guys know, I am working on a couple different areas around my home, so the entire process is taking me a lot longer than I was hoping, but I think it's going to be worth the wait and I am so excited to see everything come together one day. I have been using my island chairs as a drying rack for stuff that can't go in the dryer and it is just not working out. I feel like it leaves weird creases on the clothes and I'm sure it is not good for the fabric of these chairs. So I would love to hear from you guys what the best drying racks are. I would like something that can hang on the wall in my laundry room and maybe fold down for when I need it, but it can be up when I'm not using it. So please let me know down below if you have any good recommendations for something like that. The city to one this, the city to one this, and 
It was so cold here this morning, so I think fall is definitely here and summertime is over and I'm actually not as sad about it as I thought I would be. We did have a really good time this summer. We spent time with family, we did a lot of camping, and we really did try to spend a ton of time outdoors. This year has been really hard on a lot of people. I think everybody is feeling it, and I would love to spread a little bit of happiness down in the comments below. So let me know what your favorite part of your summer was, as well as what are you looking forward to the most with the cooler months coming up. I absolutely love fall and I am looking so forward to all of the holidays that are coming up because it is the best time of year and the holidays, especially Christmas, just make me so incredibly happy. I just got a delivery at the door and it was the old navy order I made a couple of weeks ago. I ordered the kids a ton of stuff for fall so I thought it might be kind of fun to unbox it and share with you guys what I got. Okay, so this is everything that I purchased. And then I got a couple things down there for Grayson. And I also got a couple things here. These are for my niece for Christmas. I'm just leaving them in the bags. I always get stuff early for Christmas when I find it on sale because it just really helps me not spend as much at Christmas time. As you will see, most of this is for Rowan. She doesn't have a lot of fall clothes. Grayson didn't really need anything, but I wanted to get him a couple things so he didn't feel left out, but he has a ton of stuff from last year that still fit him, whereas Rowan was a baby, so babies grow like crazy, and now she's almost two, so she needed a new wardrobe. So we'll start with this sweater. It's super, super pretty. This is probably one of my favorite things. It's like a blush pink color with this knitted cutout detailing. It's so pretty. I also got this little Sherpa jacket for her. This is for her to wear when we're in the car because her winter jacket is too bulky for the car seat. So I got this. It's still warm, but thin enough that she can wear it in the car seat. This is a t-shirt. This is the only t-shirt I think I got. Everything else is long sleeve, but I could not resist this one. I love the mustard color for fall time and it was really, really cute. So I purchased that. I also got her this heathered gray sweater. It's just a basic sweatshirt with some tie detailing at the shoulder. And then I got this one as well. This one has little ties at the bottom and it is kind of like an active wear material, which is not exactly what I was wanting, but I think it'll be okay and nice and comfortable for her. 
These two are the same print. I did not realize that when I ordered them, but they are cute. They're just basic long sleeves. This one is a waffle knit material, while this one is just like a plain cotton. So they are different and they're easy basics that she can wear every day. So that's okay. I got her a pair of socks because you can never have too many socks. This is probably my favorite thing I got her. I got her this burgundy cardigan. It's like a longer cardigan with the pockets. And I also purchased this creamy white sleeveless top to go with it with the little dot detailing texture. I just thought this was so adorable and it's a little fancier if we're going for dinner or out for any occasion. I just couldn't resist that one so I got that. I also got her two pairs of leggings, the black leggings and a little pair of stretchy waist jeans. And then for Grayson, I just got him three shirts. I got him a little dino long sleeve and then these two long sleeves. I really love the ones that look like a t-shirt with a long sleeve underneath, but they are just one shirt. So that is everything I got. And I did get everything 30% off from Old Navy. They always have sales, so I would never, ever, ever recommend paying full price at Old Navy because always try and take advantage of the sales. It saves you a lot of money. Since I did have a ton of my kids laundry that had to be washed, I decided I might as well cut the tags off all of the new stuff so I could get that washed and put away as well. I also would like to hear from you guys if you did enjoy seeing this little clothing haul or if it just wasn't for you because that is completely okay too. If you guys did enjoy it, I would love to share other types of hauls with you. I do like to shop so I feel like I do have a lot of stuff I could share and just switch up the content and break up the cleaning a little bit in the videos. But if you did not like it, please let me know because I do not have to do this ever again if you didn't enjoy it. I want to put content out that you guys enjoy so please always be honest with me. My kids have been obsessed with making forts lately so I feel like I have boxes everywhere. Anytime we get a package they want to try and make a fort out of it. They've been moving furniture, we have blankets everywhere but you're only a kid once so it is not a big deal. I enjoy making them with them. My husband is definitely the fort king. He makes the best forts and mine never compare and my three year old definitely lets me know. This is the absolute mess that we are dealing with. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I don't think my playroom has ever been in this bad of shape. This is one room I do like to try and keep somewhat clean because my kids do play better when they have space to play. So this is definitely the worst it's been and I was so tired of looking at it. As you can see, my husband Justin is helping out. I wanted to get rid of this playhouse and just put it downstairs because my kids don't play with it anymore and it is taking up a ton of space. I am also going to be going through my toys and just decluttering what I know for sure my kids no longer play with and we have quite a bit of baby stuff which Rowan is too old for now so I wanted to also get that put away.
I did mention in a previous video and I do still plan on doing a toy declutter and makeover for the playroom space. I'm just not exactly sure which route I want to take yet. I was thinking of getting a second storage unit that I already have but now I kind of want to get a cube system where the toys are more hidden and I can just label what's inside each area. Every night with you, you and me so clueless. We were just broken, shattered, singing along to nothing matters. Stray around like nighttime rumors. We were in too deep in your worn out sweaters. Thinking we'll be young forever. Driving in your mom's old hatchback. And we were in too deep. going to be finishing off the night by trying to leave some good vacuum lines in this room which is always the best part in my opinion but I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing down below before you leave if you are new here I would love to have you I would also love for you to leave me an orange heart down below just so I know you made it all the way till the end and I will see you guys in the next one Sitting on the front porch, sipping on the rocks Citrus in our beverages Citrus in our beverages Show only the good side